Social media is the number one tool used to steal your identity. From estranged spouses, ex-boyfriends, and even celebrities have been victim. Kids have been using the internet to bully one another for years. One woman made it her mission to create a site where cyber crimes and bullying are a thing of the past. Well, back in 2009, I was watching a CNN report where a 10 year old was being bullied while being online and she committed suicide. I knew that there needed to be checks and balances put in place. So I created Go20.com. Using state-of-the-art face recognition software, GoTween profiles are impossible to duplicate. GoTween initiates background checks on members and offers a 24-hour toll-free number, and this sits well with tween parents. Well, in this day and age, it's really scary to have each child on the internet. With GoTween, my daughter can be online with her friends, and I don't need to worry. Parents love the security. Tweens love the video email and video profile. Instead of just writing an email, you can video emails to them and they don't have to read it. They just hear you, see you. You can make silly faces even at them. Doing good for others is the motto of GoTween. From contests to scholarships, and now there's even a community app called Snap, which helps connect people with disabilities for friendship and love. What disabled people need is their own safe, secure place that they could go and find somebody, get matched up with somebody that you could trust. And for a disabled person and for their family, it's the answer to a prayer. Although safety is their main focus, GoTween says lending a hand up to members is equally important. Members can win cars, makeovers, and so much more listed on the website GoTween.com. From Detroit, Michigan, this is Susan Melton reporting.